Welcome back, everybody. This is Morning Live. Now, Michelle Porter founded Busy Hands Puppet Company as a way to edutain, to educate and entertain people. So what started off as a dream consisting of just one set of puppets has grown into a full company offering normal theatre puppet shows that address social and emotional issues and topics. The Busy Hands Puppet Company currently has five different puppet shows for ages 3 to 10 years. And Michelle joins us now to share more. Michelle, a very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. And a warm welcome to these beautiful babies. Thank you. <laughs> First of all, talk, uh, talk to us about your love of uh, puppeteering and how did it all begin for you? Well, it started, uh, I first started uh, translating scripts for um, Takelani Sesame. From there, it grew into doing voiceovers for Takelani for some of the uh, characters. And then okay. they asked me to please start puppeteering for them. Okay. And that's where the bug bit me to, um, for these ones who can mm. actually do this, mm. have a mouth to speak with. That's where it started from. And then it just blew up and, and, and developed. And also, um, as an actor, <laughs> you need to uh, uh, be diverse. Oh, of course, and um, of course. this actually tickled me and the response to the puppets is so great. So I, it just grew from there. Right. And why do you think kids listen more to puppets? Well, because puppets are non-threatening. Children don't right, feel, feel right. threatened and they don't feel judged. You, so they you. open up about uh, much easier than what they would towards their teacher or their mother or their, or their father. I remember with right. my son when he was small. He used to like uh, sit with the puppets and talk to them uh -huh. at a very young age. So it's a very, very nice tool to use um, if you're going to address issues. And what kind of issues then do you address in each show? How long is each show? Uh, well, there's different age groups, so it varies for the different age groups, obviously, the, the, the time amount for, of each show. Um, we address social emotional learning. So that would be uh, self-awareness, self-management, to man manage themselves better, to be more socially aware, mm. to have better relationship skills and to make better decisions. Mm. That's what mm. social emotional learning is, which there's a, a, a big lack of in South Africa. Also with a pandemic, um, we've been like uh, closed off from one another. Mm -hmm. So there's issues coming through, with, the, with especially with the babies. Uh, they struggle to, to relate to one another. There's lots of fighting. Some of the kids, um, one of the uh, nursery school teachers said to me, they're struggling with the two, the, especially the kids who were born in the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, because we were wearing masks all the time, they struggle to speak because they're not seeing your mouth. So we've got all these issues coming through now, and that's what our Busy Hands Puppet Company shows are addressing. Okay. So we've got shows for nursery school from three to six-year-olds, and then we have a foundation phase, which is grade R to grade three, uh, addressing social emotional learning um, issues. So for each age group, do you have a different set of puppets? No, it's the same set it's of the same puppets. puppets. Okay. We've also um, diver uh, went into a, a, we shot a pilot yesterday for um, the show, which we use the same puppets in because we want to like um, br grow the brand with. Um, mm. So that's how it works. That's what the puppet show is actually called for TV. Okay. So we're very excited. We had a wonderful time. I worked with some of the um, crew from Takalani uh, cast, the, uh, the the original cast of Takalani. Says, me. Nyanga Shabalala, Nosizwe Zulu, Damon Berry, they're all puppeteering for Takalani and I got to um, use them for my show. So I'm very excited to see what the end product will be like. Maybe if you can introduce me to this one-eyed fellow who's been furiously staring at me since we started this interview. <laughs> Hi, Simpiwe. My name is Mondo and, and I'm shy and I struggle to make friends and, and that's my issue and that's why I'm in this show. This is my sister, Matty. She struggles with Hello, impulse Matty. control. Um, yeah, she's not talking now because you obviously know why. And then there's <laughs> Mong. Mong um, struggles with emotions. His emotions are up and then down. And, and that's what we're trying to help the children with. <laughs> You see how much fun I know, it is? Right? <laughs> <laughs> that you can't help but like, oh yes. <laughs> They're so glued to him. <laughs> yes. yes I'm, I'm lovely, but I'm shy. But I'm learning to cope with it. Oh man, mm. how cute is that? So Michelle, <laughs> tell me what's the most challenging aspect of uh, educating and uh, entertaining kids? The most through, through puppet shows, that is. Through puppet shows. The, yeah. the, the difficult thing, what I find difficult, is to balance the entertainment with the education. You don't want to educate kids by in their face and being on the nose. Mm. But it's also got to be entertaining. 
So that and it shouldn't lose lose focus when exactly, entertaining as well. Exactly, yeah. because sometimes it tends to go there that if you start because they love falling about kids um, that age group love they call it toilet humor so to speak mm -hmm. where if you're falling about and bumping into they love stuff like that okay. but then it can deter from what the message is so it's to right, find that right. balance. It's quite challenging, but we'll see what, how the response is when we start with our, we've got a, the nursery school starting rehearsals now on Monday, okay. and the, uh, the foundation school uh, rehearsals will start um, on the, 20, the 1st of February, sorry. Okay. And then we'll start showing at um, um, primary schools and nursery schools. So what kind of lessons do kids learn from every puppet show? I mean, is the message implanted and imprinted in their minds yes, for it quite is. a long time? It is. What we're trying to do with the nursery school show, for instance, is we're going to show the, the, the lack of a specific um, skill set through a story. We use Matty for the first show and she's got Sarah with her, a human. Uh, we show the kids what the lack of the skill is and then yes. we're going to play games with them to practice that skill and all the, the gear that we use playing those games to practice the skill set, we donate to the nursery school. There's also a little song which emphasizes the theme of the show, which the school also gets to um, keep practicing the skill with the kids. Um, for instance, Matty is struggling with impulse control, like I said, so she'll be screaming out and grabbing things. And then you, there's a lot of participation, obviously, to get the kids to understand that this behavior is not what we want. But this is what you do if that feeling comes over you to do that. So it's 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 in so basically each puppet plays a different role. Yes, okay. exactly, exactly. Okay. For the for the uh, uh, foundation phase show, we have um, it's called better decision making, and it's called the code of conduct. In that show, we again use a story to explain to them what sympathy means, what um, positivity is, what uh, uh, working um, cooperation means. These mm -hmm. five different things where if you live by this code, you'll make better decisions for yourself and for the people around you. So uh, we, we tell the stories, uh, we, we give those, um, explain the, the code of conduct through a story that mm -hmm. happens. There's a, also a human that plays with them called Joe, who is the shop owner. They land with Joe because they got kicked out of Montavia, the planet they come from, to learn how to be better little monsters. <laughs> and then Joe guides them through being better little monsters. So we're doing a 20 minute show of that and then there'll be games to see whether the children understand what the concepts mean. Mm -hmm. And then the school gets a poster with a code of conduct that they can use, put up wherever, where the kids, where it's visual for the kids so they can keep reminding themselves of this is a better way to go. So how do you gauge or how do you ensure that kids actually understand the message that's being mm, passed by these Very, puppets? very interesting. That is my secret, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so okay. to speak. Yes, that's why you need to book the show to see what, what right, we come right. up with. Um, we do it within the games. Every, every little uh, 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 thing of the code of conduct gets explained within the show, within telling the story. Then afterwards, we reinforce it by playing the game and seeing, oh, do you understand what this means? But I'm not giving that away. That's okay. why you have to go to book the show to see D what you come Most up. definitely. Most <laughs> I would love to attend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please, please do. <laughs> so where can I see this show? Well, if you want more information, you can go to our social media pages on Facebook and the Busy Hands Puppet Company, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter. Or you can contact, oh, we've also got a website, okay. www.thepuppetshow.co.za. Okay. Uh, and we can also WhatsApp 061-509-6360 or Linda at busyhandspuppets. Right. for more information about our shows. All right, most certainly. Excellent. Great to you, Michelle. Thank you, thank you thank so much. Thank you so much for, for coming, me. guys. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Bye. All right, there we go. Actress Michelle Water speaking to us about her puppet show, which uh, uh, is divided into two categories, the normal puppet shows and the show that addresses social, economic or social-emotional issues.